Bonjour, AFS. It's Izzy here, and today I'm going to be taking you through my day and life over here in beautiful Paris. So if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in this box right over here. I'm going to be headed to class pretty soon, but once I'm out of class, I promise I will answer all of your questions and take you through my wonderful day here in this beautiful city. All right, y'all, I finished my class and I had myself a nice little lunch. It was wonderful. I had a pasta tuna salad and so now I'm walking home because it's a little bit cold in Paris today so I'm gonna go and grab a jacket and then figure out what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day so I figured as I'm on my way home I might as well tell you guys a little bit about myself so my name is Isabella Raposa hey and I was born in Brazil I am a student at LaGrange College in Georgia where I'm majoring in musical theater and this semester I am here in Magnifique Café to continue my theater studies in this semester's AIFS Abroad Paris program, there are 12 of us. This right here is one of my absolute favorite places in Paris and it's one of my favorite things because on my walk home, I get to cut through it. And it, that is the Gardens of Luxembourg, which I am currently walking through. I get to come here literally every day. I walk through these gardens. I picnic here all the time. It is my absolute favorite spot. The living situation is absolutely wonderful. This is my balcony. Um, so I live with a host family here in Paris and I have a single room. So it's only me here in this house and it's me and my host family. It's absolutely wonderful. Look how absolutely wonderful it is. So gorgeous. I absolutely love it. It's perfect. So I am actually heading out the door right now. For me, when it came down to it, it was always going to be Paris. So I fell in love with this city at a very young age. I fell in love with the language, the culture, and everything about it. I always wanted to come to France. And so when the opportunity arose for me to come and study here, I obviously had to jump on it. And I obviously had to get myself over here as quickly as I possibly could. So I did exactly that, but it was always Paris. Y'all do not even get me started on the food, okay? Because it is so stinking good. And as we are talking about food, I'm gonna give you guys a very important poll, okay? Because I'm really big on having sweet treats, okay? And I am gonna get myself a sweet treat tonight, but I need your help making this decision, which is I need to decide, vote on this poll over here on this story, please. Should I go to crepe or some macarons today? So right now I'm headed to a place that I haven't been yet. I've been wanting to go here for a while, but I haven't had a chance to yet. And so I'm about to go to this place. It's called Cafe Nuage. And what it is, is it is a coffee shop and you pay by the hour and it's for studying and working. So I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna crank out a couple chapters of my novel. My plan essentially is that I'm gonna go here and get some work done and get some reading done, just relaxation. Normally on a Wednesday at 7 p.m. I would have ballet because I am here as a musical theater major But unfortunately, I don't have class today because my professor is not feeling well So I don't have ballet today, but it's okay because I'm just gonna kind of seize that opportunity to get some work done and really Grind things out and do some exploring as well. So um, you also notice I walk everywhere. I Just I'm a walker. Okay, that's another really good piece of advice is walk you can see things when you walk. When you see things, you can decide, hmm, I want to go there. So do that. Anyway, the plan is to head here and get some work done. And then when my battery starts to die, I am going to head to get my sweet treat of the day and then turn into the night. Yes. Every single one of my classes, as well as the majority of my day-to-day -day life, is completely in French. So while I'm here, that is my primary language, which, thank goodness, because I think that is the best way to learn a language, is to put yourself in that country and in the heart of it and really focus on it. So that's really what I'm trying to do here, is improve my French and continue my work and just have a good time. It is a tiny bit cold right now here, but not horrible by a long shot, okay? super easy to jive with super rollable and look how gorgeous the sky is i mean come on like actually which is look at that you're telling us not the most beautiful thing ever yes it is and the wonderful thing about that is that there are so many different things to do and see and so many different ways that you can get involved in it if you so choose to i will be honest with you i don't know too much about that which i kind of feel like i should but I've just never gotten too far into it. So um, 
I definitely should do some digging into that, but that is going on here. I have met some people who are in it, just in the wild, which is super fun, and definitely check out Paris Fashion Week. <laughs> I am super stingy with the word fluent, so no, I am not fluent in French. I am currently at an A22 level, approaching B1, where actually my comprehension is more at like a B12, um, and so I kind of, I understand French really well, I don't get to speak and write it that often, so it's not the best that it's ever been, but that's also part of why I'm here, is to improve and get more fluent, and I do think, um, by the time that I leave, I'll be not fluent, because I'm so stingy with that word, but closer to it at least. One thing that I've done, that I've found has really helped me with my French, is that I actually ask the locals to correct me. So like if I go to a coffee shop or something, I'll order in French and I'll tell them like, oh, can you tell me what I said or did wrong? And so that's been super helpful. A lot of people think that's weird, but it's really helpful. If I can only give you one piece of advice and one only, it's going to be to live. Live every single moment, okay? I mean, go for it because you are out of your element, okay? You're going to be somewhere unlike anywhere you've ever been before. And you don't know if or when you're ever going to get to experience that again. So while you do get to experience it, you need to seize every single moment, every single opportunity that gives itself to you. Because you seriously just live, all right? Live like a local. Don't do just touristy things. Please, for the love of all that is good in this world, don't be a tourist. Live. So I am back in my house now, in bed, and I'm getting ready to wrap up my day, running some last minute chores, gonna get my homework done, and I'm just gonna curl up in bed with a good book, which right now I'm reading Funny Story by Emily Henry in English, and I'm currently reading Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows in French, because I've been rereading the whole series, but in French, just because, you know, it helps. That's a great way to learn language, pro tip. So thank y'all so much for following along with my day. And if you're interested in seeing more of my time here while I'm abroad, please do give me a follow. My at is right over here. And you guys can just ask me anything, anytime. I'm always happy to talk about this stuff. I absolutely love it. Uh, see you next